Hi, my name is Danica and I am a current first year at Parsons School of Design and this is my accepted portfolio. I'm gonna try and upload more videos on kind of my life at Parsons. When I go back to New York, I'm at home right now for the break. I'll start uploading some vlogs, kind of day in my life as a student at the school and living in New York City. I applied to a bunch of different schools. I got, I was super fortunate to have gotten into most of them with a scholarship. So I applied and was accepted to Otis, Syracuse, Drexel, Parsons, FIT, SCAD, School of the Art Institute of Chicago. This is my accepted portfolio to FIT and Parsons as well as the other artwork I sent in to different schools. There were three parts of the portfolio. The first one was the hardest because I had to create brand new material specifically for the application. So basically the first one is the mix and match section or the sportswear coordination one. You have to design a jacket, a skirt, pants, and a top used in both and the two looks have to be cohesive. You have to include fabric swatches, where your design will be worn, and what season. And you also had to create a mood board, kind of like your inspiration behind the look. So this is mine. I really wanted it to be super vibrant. Um, I really wanted like bold colors, so I chose the orange and the pink. Um, and then this is the final look. This is what I um, ended up submitting. Oh, hello. Project two is the fashion design artwork. So basically we had to submit four to eight original designs. Again, we had to include fabric swatches for each design. And then finally project three was the sewing project. And essentially we just had to submit two to three garments and front and back photographs as well as any details that we wanted to include. So Parsons was another one that took a long time to do just because there was a lot to it. I did extensive research on Parsons. It was my top school. What all of the information sessions I went to told me is that they don't want to see fashion design work. They solely wanted to see my creative artwork. Their kind of philosophy is that they'll teach me the mechanics of everything later. So we had to upload 8 to 12 pieces of our work. I submitted 11. Here is the work. <laughs> they didn't want to see a lot of fashion, as I mentioned, but I did include a little bit of it just because I felt like it was kind of essential to who I am and what my creativities are mainly focused on. So I did include some of my more creative work. So I have this black dress with a tulle skirt the vinyl vest with these kind of like spiky sleeves on the side. Lastly, for the fashion, I also submitted this corset and skirt look and I included the details of the back. Here are more works. I work mostly with oil paintings as you can see. Um, I really like to draw people. I have a couple landscapes, lots of bold colors. Just kind of wanting to show my creativity and how I can translate that into my artwork. And lastly, I included a video of my sketchbook, which kind of showcases my inspiration and where I get a lot of ideas and how, like, the thought process behind my ideas and how I end up translating them into artwork. Lastly, there was also the Parsons Challenge, and basically you had to create a brand new piece, uh, kind of drawing from inspiration of another piece. So this is the original artwork I chose, and this is what I came up with. We had to also write, like, a 500-word essay, which, again, not too bad, but Parsons definitely takes up a lot of time, so I would recommend working on it really early. The portfolios I did for a lot of schools include a bunch of the same artwork and I kind of mix and match them for each school and what I thought would be the best for other places. Like a lot of schools wanted to see kind of more um, still life work so I included my still life. So, so you really just have to kind of curate your portfolio to each school and kind of do what they want. So I highly recommend going to different kind of information sessions regarding the portfolio because you're going to get a lot more information in those than you will out of their website in regards to what they want to see. But you want to make sure that all of your portfolios are um, specific to that school. 
So don't just have like a blanket portfolio that you submit to every school. You really want to choose which pieces will be best for what school. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Um, leave a like, subscribe. Not quite sure how this works yet. Um, but yeah, so if you want to see more videos like this, it would mean a lot. And comment what schools you're applying to. Um, anyways, thank you so much. Bye, guys.